In this morning's Health Watch, the truth about man flu. Have you ever noticed that sometimes certain men have a tendency to, I don't want to say whine, but perhaps complain a little bit more at the first sign of a sniffle or even a slight headache, complain like it's the end of the world? Well, a new study suggests men actually do get sick more often than women do. Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with the details. So is this actually giving a little fuel to their fire? There may, in fact, be evidence now scientifically that there is a real entity called the WIMP factor. So they looked at a study in South Korea, 1,200 workers, asked them about their level of stress, then went back six months later and asked them how many had colds. In fact, the people who had supported that they had the highest stress in their job, the men, were 74% more likely to call in sick due to a cold mm. over that time period. They didn't have a lot of women in the study because in South Korea, not as many women work, right. but it does appear to support that there is a real entity called the WIMP factor. So this seems like it's tied a little bit more to the, the stress in your job, which you know in the United States, as you mentioned, might come out a little bit differently Correct. because more women work outside the home. However, does that translate to a real medical evidence that there's something different in the immune system? Well, in terms of the physiology, there's no actual evidence to support a difference between men and women yet. But of course, possible theories include some hormonal differences that may make men actually become a little sicker when they're exposed to the cold virus. Mm -hmm. Remember, in the past, heart disease was thought to be the same entity between men and women. We know now that's not right. true, that women actually experience it in slightly different manners. The cold virus may turn out to be the same thing. There might be differences between men and women. So there is a chance that they experience it differently, that they may feel sicker than right. women do. But on the flip side, women also aren't perhaps as ready to say, I feel terrible because they don't feel that they can. Exactly. In, in, traditionally, women are the caregivers in their home, at least, and a lot more women, certainly in this country, in the workforce, they have to be more stoic. They can't get sick. You know, it, they just don't have that flexibility in their day-to-day -day life. Who will take care of the children if the mom gets sick? So potentially that has something to do with it also. And are men so used to being taken care of that that's why sometimes, not all men, my husband, if you're watching, I don't uh -huh. want to throw him under the bus. But you know, some men do sort of, you know, act like big babies when they're sick. Well, we could be accomplices in perpetuating this. You know, men can complain more because they can complain more. Right. And traditionally, they're less likely to seek medical attention. They may not be as accustomed to expressing their feelings when they're happy or sad or feeling ill. So all these things can really stack the deck against them. When they do get sick, boy, you're going to hear about it. So really, the bottom line takeaway is we're still stronger because we can handle it better, right? Oh, I think so. Jen, thanks. You bet. Not that either one of us is biased.